Hello, Mullery. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna remember everyone's name at some point, but I just I can't get them right. <laughs> Fancy shirt. My shirt. Wouldn't it be funny if it was? She broke into my house, stole all my clothes, when I'm Okay. It's not really that funny. It'd be kind of weird. You tell me on that dog. Okay. Step number one. Get the radical alone. So what that means is anything that's on the same side of the equal sign, we need to get rid of it. So this is the radical right here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to subtract 2 to both sides, which is going to give us 5x plus 14 equals 3. So the first things first, get the radical alone. Step number two. Square both sides to get rid of radical. So square both sides to get rid of radical. So we're going to square both sides like that. Why is it crooked? There we go. So that's going to give us 5x plus 14 equals 9. Anybody have any questions up to right now? Step number three. What? Three squared. Square both sides. Solve equation for variable. All right, you know, how do we solve this? So she's saying we're going to subtract 14 from both sides, which gives us that. Is that right? No, it's not. Yes, it is. Then what? Divide by 5, so x equals negative 1. Okay? All right, now that everyone has all the steps down to be able to solve a radical equation, now we're going to solve them without a bunch of steps. Okay, well, this is exactly so Daxton, what do we do first? Step number one inside your journal. What did you write down? Yeah. That's what I thought I was watching. It, so do we divide first? No, you subtract one. Yeah, we got to get the radical alone. So we're going to subtract one to both sides. Okay. So now we're to there. Okay. Rex and Hershey know what? Square both sides, which is going to give us 3w minus 11 equals 4. Can a die want to want to fly? What's next? Nice. We're going now. We're just going to solve for the variable. Okay, Mallory, how do we solve that equation right there? Scared me how good that is. Nice. And there's your solution. Okay? Questions so far? 
Okay, you guys are going to try one on your own here. There we go. Corbin, you got it? Yeah. No, you don't. Yeah. No, you don't. No, you don't. Corbin likes to sing a song and he likes to dance in the moon. All right, Corbono. What do I do first? Nice. We got to get the radical alone, right? Okay, we're there. Okay, Gavin. What do I do next? Square root, or just square both sides, which gives us three y plus sixteen equals four. What doesn't? This? This? It cancels out the square root. Ethan, what do I do next? How do I solve this equation? Nice. Okay, Mason, what do I do? So y equals negative 4. Who got that one right? Good. Okay, we are going to have these where they look a little bit, you guys notice, get ready because I'm asking everyone in the class to be able to help me today, so get ready. So two equals the square root, we're going to look at it a little bit differently here. What about if it looks like that? Oh, it's not your turn. What in the... Okay, all right. Matthew, what would you do? Awesome. It's the exact same thing. We still have to get the radical alone. The only difference now is it looks like this. Okay, so we're to there. Griffin, what do you do? No, we got to do something first. The lions? No, square. Ninety? No, not the same thing. Mm -mm, not even close. Okay, so we're to there, right? All right, Mon, what do you do next? Nice, Mon. So we get negative 10 equals 5W. Kellen, what do we do? So W equals negative 2, right? So it doesn't matter whichever way it's set up, you still solve it the exact same. Okay, let's get a little easier. You guys like this, how, you, how I'm doing it? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Look, we just got easier. Ricky! Ricky! Ricky. If this was my problem, what would I do first? We got to do something first. And that's step number two. Yep, if the radical is alone, we have to square both sides. Everyone see how the radical is already alone there? If the radical is already alone, you got to square both sides. Okay, Kellen. Wait, did I already call on you? Ethan. What do we do next? Uh, 
So, Easton, alright. Easton, what do we do next? From right here, Easton. You do do something, what do you do? I'll give you a hint. You don't plus 7 and you don't plus 9. Okay. We're going to plus 8 to both sides, so U equals 57. So it doesn't matter however they look. They can look as easy as possible or not, but here we go. Easton, you're up again, man. i got to get Easton Dex, and you better be paying attention because I'm coming back to you too. We'll stop writing for a second, my friend. X minus 2 equals 4. Daxton, what do I do first? Where? You're on the board. X minus 2 equals 16. Easton, what do we do? What do you do from here, right here? Okay, you can phone a friend. We're going to add 2 to both sides, so x equals 18. Alright, Braxton, I've been saving the best for last here. Braxton, you get the easiest one, but maybe quite possibly the hardest. Braxton, how do I solve that? You just square both sides. And you're done. This was fun. Did you guys like going hard to see? Yeah. Normally, I would start here, then go to here, then go to here, then go. All right, one more. I gotta show you guys one more. Don't write this one down though. This is what this stuff leads to. So I've had people before ask me, well, what's the purpose? Like, why do I have to learn this this year? This isn't even that hard. This is exactly how uh, people say. This year is you're going to see problems like this. Next year. Next year. Hey, what's step number one? Get the radical alone, then square it. Check this out. If you square y minus 3, it becomes y squared minus 6y plus 9. And then guess what you have to do? Just watch. This is next year, so everyone watch. Then you're going to add 3y and subtract 19 to both sides. So you get y squared minus 3y minus 10 equals 0. Equals 0. Now you guys ready? Then you're going to think of two numbers that multiply together to be negative 10 and add together to be negative 3, which is negative 5 and 2. So y minus 5 and y plus 2 equals 0. And then you're going to set them both equal to 0. So y equals 5, y equals negative 2. How many answers? 2. You want to know why there's two answers? Why is there two answers? That's next year. Just in case you're wondering how hard this does get. Hey, good news. That was only a 15 minute lesson.